Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Cappies. What is up with your energy, Capricorn? You guys are pulling such good vibes. So whenever you're in that energy, there are things you're going to have to be mindful of, Capricorn. So uh, take what's yours, leave what's not. There's the Ten of Cups, there's the Six of Cups, there's the Eight of Wands, and there's the Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. Capricorn, some of you are going to have to do some healing. Or Capricorn, be mindful of this when it comes to relationships or partnerships coming toward you. The fact you keep pulling this vibe, Capricorn... Uh, I feel like those, those of you that are dating, those of you that are open to relationships or partnerships, those of you that are actually all about the loving relationships or partnerships, uh, there's this sort of switch up when it comes to you. Some of you, it is be mindful of that sort of karmic comeback around energy, especially if you haven't done the healing that you need to do or focus on what you need to focus on. How much of this is crosswatcher vibes with you, Capricorn? Because uh, a lot of you, that crosswatcher energy wants to come in. So I don't know if you're doing a bunch of crosswatching now, Capricorn, or some of you failed relationships or partnerships with the Ten of Cups there, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Cups. That's failed relationships or partnerships. And moving through that energy. So, I mean, damn Capricorns. Those of you that are definitely optimistic when it comes to love those of you that's optimistic when it comes to the opportunities that you have this tells me that you're if you're dating you're enjoying dating some of you thinking about dating uh others are noticing that you are attracting a lot of attention capricorn i definitely feel like the work that you do whatever you do uh you definitely send off baby mama baby daddy vibes so you're going to get a lot of offers and a lot of opportunities from a lot of different types of people so uh, you're kind of uh, uh, the shark in a bigger pond. So, you know, or shark or, well, I was going to say alligator. Shark's a little better, but right? There's the magician energy with you. There's the three of cups. There's the three of cups. You got both three of cups here. So, the androgyny on this with you, Capricorn, is that this could be many different types of relationships or partnerships when it comes to you. I definitely feel like you're an accomplished Capricorn. So people look at you, uh, they're wondering if you're single. They look at you as being somebody they would like to get to know better, someone they could build a relationship or partnership with uh, and be happy. I feel like there's an optimism with you when it comes to your relationships or partnerships that you haven't had before. I feel like you come about that because you have done the work. Those of you that... Uh, uh, done the healing from past relationships or partnerships so you understand the manipulation when it comes to the relationships or partnerships capricorn i feel like you've been there done that but i feel like you were able to move through that energy pretty fast so now that you're out there dating and optimistic about dating it shows you're not the only one where all this sort of karmic energy wants to come in but damn Capricorn, a lot of you are just like, you're right there, but you're out of reach because that's not the sort of vibe that you're interested in. So I don't feel like you're cross-watching, Capricorn. Uh, I think you have a lot of cross-watcher energy around you. Capricorns, you could have people wanting to come towards you that aren't really healed in their relationships or partnerships. So you could get a lot of leech energy, Capricorn, When especially if you're starting to date, you're starting to get out there and... Uh, just date, like a lot of first dates, taking your time getting out there. So there's going to be people that's probably going to expect you to like solve all their problems or make their life better because you are showing up in this sort of boss ass energy here. So damn. Those of you Capricorn that date people that can't love themselves or love themselves enough to uh, not need a codependency when it comes to you. Or any relationship or partnership they have in their life. It's 
it's the reality of something, Capricorn. You can't talk about relationships or partnerships without being mindful of what you need to be mindful of. Have you done the healing you need to? If you're going to get into a relationship with somebody, have they done the healing that they need to? So you might not be cross-watching your ex, but you could be dating somebody that cross-watches their ex. Your exes could be cross-watching you. You're pulling good vibes, so you're attracting attention, so that isn't going unnoticed. But there's so much unresolved here. Leo energy, the page of cups. There's the Scorpio vibes. There's the lover's vibe. There's the six of wands. There you are, Capricorn, with Temperance Angel. Capricorn, I feel like a lot of you are kind of out of reach because you're not uh, overly focused. Uh, so you're not stuck in uh, uh, stagnant energy. You're not uh, really all that overwhelmed with past relationships or partnerships. So that manipulation doesn't work if uh, it doesn't uh, affect you anymore. So, damn Capricorn. Take what's yours and leave what's not here, Capricorn. You know you, you know your life, you know the choices that you make. And there's the three of wands with you. This is definitely upgrade in energy, but you always have the stuck stagnant. So hopefully you're going through and working on what you need to. You're doing the healing that you need to, Capricorn. Hopefully you're able to look at your relationships and partnerships and realize where you could have made better choices. Those of you that aren't stuck going back into relationships or partnerships or there was just way too much. A lot of you, the fact you're not feeding into this energy as well makes all the difference. You attract a lot of codependent people. And even now, when you're out there dating, if someone's looking at you at, at, as baby mama, baby daddy energy, uh, right at the beginning of the relationship or partnership, they're already putting way too many expectations on that relationship or partnership. So be mindful of that. You're not somebody's uh, project. You're not somebody's... Uh, mm. Don't be somebody's coat rack for all their failed relationships or partnerships. So whether this is karmic energy with you Capricorns, those from the past wanting to come back towards you, or those of you, you just come up as being somebody that someone thinks is going to make all their shit life choices better, especially when it comes to relationships or partnerships. So this is like trauma bonding. Rather appropriate for your sign, Capricorn. So this comes up a lot for you guys, whether this is your energy or those that's doing the shadow work or those that focus on the shadow self. All love is a codependency. That's nothing new, and it's not necessarily toxic. It's healthy. But damn. You could attract some messy energy. You could attract some people that's looking for you to bring more to a relationship or partnership that is absolutely required of a partner. It's not your job to mend someone else's uh, broken heart from past failed relationships. So be mindful you're not attracting those type of uh, people into your life. Especially if you're optimistic about dating or you're optimistic about love. Because I really feel that's the underlying vibe with this. You're only getting this type of attention because you are showing up. People are looking at you as like baby mama, baby daddy vibes. So with that, you're going to attract all kinds of attention. What's over the three of wands for Capricorn? The fact this is here tells you that you're showing up in good light. So if you're attracting this sort of uh, the stuck stagnant, the wounded warrior type vibes or those that's kind of perpetually wounded in love because they continually make the wrong partnership choices, 
so if someone's looking at you to come in and make everything right from every bad decision they made in love, that puts you at a disadvantage and right from the beginning, the relationship or partnership will never work. It's it's not your job to heal someone else's uh, uh, mistakes in uh, romance, love, whatever the hell that is. Two of Wands, the Sun, and there's the Queen of Cups. Definitely be mindful of catfishing and ghosting. Those of you, if you're doing anything online, be aware of what you need to be aware of. So, uh, if you're doing something new, you're trying something new, make sure you look at uh, what you need to be mindful of, so that way you don't get played. Some of y'all could, uh, you could have an ex trying to ghost uh, or catfish you or whatever the fuck. King of Pentacles there with the Page of Wands. And there's the Seven of Swords. Those of you that's ready to start dating, this is uh, kind of the attitude you're going to have to adopt uh, moving forward with dating. I think the main thing with you... If you're showing up as being like baby mommy, baby daddy type uh, vibes, is there's going to be way too many expectations on you right from the beginning. And if someone hasn't worked through their uh, relationship or partnership struggles, there's going to be way too much expectation on you to be the one to, to make up for someone else's all their failed relationships or partnerships. That's the complexity of this with you, Capricorn. So if you see it, you understand it, you recognize it, then you can pay attention to that. I definitely feel like this is higher vibrational Capricorns. So we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that. Because these type of relationships or partnerships can allow for way too much codependency. And that's what makes the difference. Leo, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini vibes, Scorpio vibes. It's like Little Red Riding Hood energy. Some of you, this should be like second nature with the Seven of Swords. Things are different. Things are, are changed. So Some of you are definitely looking good. It's like baby mama, baby daddy energy. So, you know what I mean? But if you're showing up like that and someone starts dating you and that's how they're looking at you, then going into the relationship or partnership, they're going to have dreams of grandeur. Like you're going to go in and, and save them from all their failed relationships or partnerships. That's going to put you at a very unfair advantage as well. Because someone wants to put all their sort of burdens on you going into this relationship or partnership. Or you, vice versa, Capricorn, I don't know your life. But uh, who's the one that's trying to take advantage of something? Capricorn, it's not your job to make up for someone else's last shit relationship or partnership. It's not your job to fulfill what they couldn't. Especially if someone projects too much on the relationship or partnership from the beginning. So what's the expectations going into dating? It's not your job because someone keeps choosing shitty partners. It's up to them to make the choice to choose better partners or relationships. So do be mindful of that. Whether that's advice for you, Capricorn, or those of you going out there, especially if you're looking good, but there's always going to be someone taking advantage of it. You know you're in good energy. If you're coming across as being baby mama, baby daddy uh, potential, yeah. But you also got people that put a lot of weight and uh, uh, expectations on that. Before the relationship or partnership even begins. And it is not your job to make up for someone else's shit taste and partners. That's on them. Knight of Wands. Judgment, the King of Wands. There with the... Uh, uh. Some of you are dealing with people who perpetually choose the wrong person. 
So those of you Capricorns that's taking your time before you turn something passionate, that's going to be a turnoff. For some of you, that could actually be an argument that you have with somebody. If someone thinks that you're either playing hard to get or that uh, you're like teasing, how fast somebody wants to turn it into a passionate connection instead of taking their time with something. It's not lack of opportunities with you, uh, Capricorn, it's quality of. What's the pattern in someone else's relationships or partnerships, Capricorn, and the pattern in your relationships or partnerships? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Lord have mercy if you put any kind of spiritual vibes on something. That's what makes the difference. I'm telling you, Capricorn, y'all are going to find like the perfect relationships or partnerships. You're going to get a great opportunity, but first you got to kind of get right with yourself here. Especially if you're showing up as being uh, very accomplished. If you put a little bit of spirituality on this, uh, Capricorn, I feel like it's your kind of considering or reconsidering your viewpoints on marriage or who you get into partnerships with with that ten of pentacles capricorn i feel like a lot of you are the ones that do want the marriage you are interested in that type of happily ever after but you're going to be far more focused on how that connection actually works especially if you're being very retrospective with regard to your own relationships or partnerships It's not your job to make up for someone else's shitty choice in partners. Uh, that's something they got to work through. That's closure they need to get with that last relationship or partnership. And someone's expectations for you, they're expecting too much. So that could be your vibes, Capricorn. That could be the opportunities coming towards you. You're going to have a lot. So if you're out there dating, go, go have fun. Because I think you're going to... Uh, uh, be in the right vibe, but you're also going to be attracting a lot of people that are going to expect way too much from you. Especially if they have a lot of failed relationships or partnerships. What was the failure in their relationships or partnerships? Because some of them, if they go into it with higher expectations, it's not your partner's job to uh, uh, fix you or love you better than your last relationships or partnerships. Those are the relationships or partnerships that didn't work out. And if you go into that with ex expectations that your next partner should make up for your last few choices and shit partners, you're putting way too much strain on that relationship. Nine of Wands there. You're going the judgment energy. Back to those passionate connections. Making love out of nothing at all. Especially those of you Capricorns. Maybe you're taking a little vow celibacy. But I don't think you're going to let uh, the passionate connections overrule your uh, judgment here. I feel like you've learned this or someone's going to learn this. And that's what makes the difference with you. I mean, the complexity with you, uh, Capricorn. Definitely good retrograde vibes on this, uh, Capricorn. So watch your favorite astrologer. This is like quality of relationship or partnership and not just being in a relationship or partnership. You could be the one that's doing this work on yourself here, Capricorn, which makes the difference. So you're going to be far more focused on looking at the codependencies in your relationships or partnerships. If you're showing up as baby mama, baby daddy energy, someone's going to expect way too much from you before you, they even kind of know what you're about when it comes to this relationship or partnership. It is not your job to make up for other people's past mistakes in relationships or partnerships. They need to do that. So Capricorn, some of you could be working through that energy or just be mindful of those coming towards. 
But if someone starts dating you and on the first date, they're thinking about like the future. They're like hearing wedding bells and they, they got everything sort of all planned out. Some of you are dealing with people who have some issues they need to work through. Because that relationship or partnership won't work if the expectations aren't met. And some of you, that is not your partner's fucking job. So remember that. You could have strong Gemini placement. I feel like the Gemini energy and you with the, the Capricorn kind of work in conjunction. Love is codependent, but what's the level of that codependency? What's the expectations on something? This is not going to be for everybody, so take what's yours and leave what's not. This is the reality of relationships or partnerships. Uh, Capricorn vibe, all relationships or partnerships are based on codependency. It's kind of built into it, but uh, you choose that, right? Nine of Wands there at the Four of Wands. This is that retrospection energy. This is that really, have you looked at your relationships or partnerships? What were the expectations? Were they like uh, valid expectations and what weren't? Someone likes that idea, the happily ever after, but all their, they never had the happily ever after. So, baby mama, baby daddy energy. It's not your partner's job to fulfill where all your failed relationships or partnerships let you down. So, what's the expectations? Eight of swords there, the five of swords, the page of swords. Someone loves the idea of love, but their expectations on it are never met. So, Capricorn, if you're looking at your past failed relationships or partnerships and figuring out where you could have done better, where, where you were wrong, uh, were the expectations realistic? Are your expectations realistic, Capricorn? Some of you, it's not your partner's job to, like, make everything in your life better. So, if that's how you look at a relationship or partnership... Uh, your partner isn't like your maid. It's not your partner's job to make sure that uh, all your expectations are met. Neither is it uh, uh, your partner's job to make sure that all your dreams and expectations are met. So choose wisely. Look at things from a far different perspective than what you normally do. With the cross watcher energy, if you're coming across baby mama, baby daddy vibes, if you're on a date and you notice someone kind of goes into that vibe, they start talking about, oh, they want to settle down and all this. Way too early in the partnership or in the relationship. Just keep that in mind. Especially if you're dealing with someone who has just shit taste in partners. But all those relationships or partnerships probably fall apart because they expect somebody else to make that dream come true. So some of y'all need to do some partner work or looking at your love language, your relationships or partnerships. The reality of those uh, codependencies. Good retrograde vibe. It's good retrograde work. So take what's yours, leave what's not Capricorn. That's like seriousness. That's that's beyond just, uh, oh, you love each other. This is the complexity of it. So some of y'all could be looking at it from a more complex perspective. Some of you might need to look at it from a more complex perspective. You're showing up good, but what's the expectations even before the relationship begins? You are not your partner's everything, and your partner can be your fucking everything. Uh... That's not how it works. That's not how it works. So trust the stagnation in something. It's there for a reason. Definitely keep doing the work on yourself, Capricorns. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave the rest. Peace, love, and light.